Good morning, it's the uh, 26th of March 2013, it's coming up to 10 to 8 in the morning. Um, currently gold is at $1,602.60 um, and silver is at $28.81 an ounce. Um, it hit a low in the last 24 hours of for gold, $1,500.90 and silver hit a low of $28.54. So um, gold dipped, well, it's recovered twelve dollars, and uh, and silver has recovered um, around twenty seven cents. So um, uh, this is because of uh, comments overnight from Cyprus. Um, the the UK's Mirror says, who will EU banks target uh, raiders target next? <coughs> Shockwaves over template of Cyprus bailout. The markets plunged when Dutch politician Jerome Dissenbloem revealed uh, the levy on savings of over more than €100,000 might not be a one-off move that it was claimed to be. Um, the, he's the head of the Eurozone finance, and uh, he, he said it's a, uh, a te- Cyprus is a template for action in other problem economies, um, which has raised the, the possibility of... Um, Spain, Portugal and Greece being plundered next, is what the, I'm paraphrasing the mirror. Um, bank shares uh, across the continent have, have tumbled after the minister's comments. Uh, France's uh, Société Générale and Credit Agricole fell 59 and 4.9% respectively, and um, Italian bank Intesa was down 5.7%. Um, the current terms of the deal is that anyone with more than a hundred thousand euros or eighty-five thousand pounds, approximately, I think about one hundred and thirty thousand dollars, in the Cypriot bank could lose up to forty percent of their money to fund the bailout. And uh, Mr. Dissenbloem has said, if there's a risk, if there is a risk in the bank, our first question should be, okay, what, what are you in the bank going to do about that? Um, what can you do to recapitalise yourself? Um, if the bank can't do it, we will talk to the shareholders and the bondholders and ask them to contribute to recapitalising the bank and, if necessary, uninsured deposit holders. So, shockwaves across Europe for that, and maybe this is why um, gold and silver have rebounded from a from a drop uh, within the last 24 hours when everyone thought that this was this was over when Cyprus was sorted. The BBC is saying that Cyprus uh, banks are going to stay closed until Thursday. And the bailout will see the larger depositors in the in the two biggest banks, Bank of Cyprus and Lackey, lose the money. Um, the president Nikos Anastasias says uh, these are very temporary restrictions um, would be put on the capital flow, uh, but gave no um, no details and controls to prevent money leaving the country already in place. Um, Market Watch uh, says gold slips on firmer dollar and a demand concern from China. Um, gold for April delivery slipped yesterday, four point four dollars, um, four dollars and forty cents to sixteen hundred dollars and ten cents an ounce uh, in Asia trading hours, um, and it was struggling to hold on to the sixteen hundred um, dollar level. Um, said gold trimmed early losses as the Euro Group president said the Cyprus bailout deal should be seen as a temp, uh, template for future bank bailouts, uh, noted uh, somebody at HSBC, a metal analyst. And, um, and the Guardian is saying, um, what we've done last night is what I call pushing back the risks, has said uh, Jerome Dissenbloem. Uh, the Dutch finance minister, he told Reuters in the Financial Times after clinching agreement for Cyprus, um, and then he went on to repeat the quote, which I gave you a second ago. Um, Interior Minister Socrates Hasiko um, encapsulated the mood describing the EU IMF back bailout as the best of a bad range of choices. He went on to say, um, we'd got to the point where we were discussing a depositor haircut between 50 and 60 percent. He said that adding that Cypriot uh, Parliament rejection of the first accord with its highly controversial levy on depositors, big and small, had been hugely negative for the country's banks. So after that, this is the best we could get. I added the words after that. Um, so he said that this is the best we could get. Um, there were warnings that the impact could reach, obviously, beyond Cyprus again. Um, and uh, Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev said that they are continuing to steal what has already been stolen. And, and this is a phrase that Lenin used um, uh, to answer the allegation that the Bolsheviks were thieves. 
Um, the Russian officials have repeatedly compared the Cypriot Bank to uh, Soviet era ex, uh, expropriation. So that, that phrase again was, they are continuing to steal what's already been stolen. Uh, and that's it for today. Um, see you uh, tomorrow. You can subscribe to uh, at Gold News Video channel by clicking somewhere on this YouTube channel. Um, or you can follow us on um, Twitter at Gold News Video. Thanks. Have a great day.